every time Greg's here, you, you tell us stories of being teacher, and I keep thinking, oh, well, that's it now. He'll have told us his, yeah. you know, the funny things that happened to me as a teacher. <laughs> but it seems like a bottomless pit. <laughs> like, school trips. Because uh, school trips seems like that's when all rules go out the window for pupils, everybody. And for teachers, I think. Yeah. I think. Yeah. You've got to remember, when I first started teaching, I was 21, yeah. 21 years of age, you know, and you're... Sent, I was sent to Paris on a school trip. <laughs> Three of us, all of us in our early 20s, in charge of a uh, busload of kids. It's, I mean, it's frankly amoral. <laughs> <laughs> what did you get up to? Do you know, it's awful. I can say it now. I'm never going to go back to teaching now, right? They I think it's unlikely. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, mean, I got really drunk with two friends in a, in a hotel room when the kids were all in bed. Yeah. Like, really drunk. Yeah. We'd had a bottle of tequila between the three of us. <laughs> and um, then I heard kids running around. Oh, uh, it's so bad, isn't it? <laughs> heard kids running around. And I'm quite good at pretending to be sober when I'm not. So I said, I'll, I'll go out and I'll deal with this to my, to my friend, Tony. <laughs> <laughs> Who's still a teacher. <laughs> And, um, and I went out, and there were these kids all in their nighties and pyjamas, all giggling, and I went out, what's going on here? <laughs> and they were like, oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. I said, you know you should be in your bedroom. This is absolutely disgraceful. And I was doing a beautiful job when Tony <laughs> came out of my room, and I don't know why, he was just in his boxer shoes. <laughs> <laughs> and a really big pair of boots. <laughs> and he started going like this, you should be in bed. <laughs> 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 and I grabbed him by the face. I was so frightened. I grabbed him by the face. I just pushed him <laughs> back into my room. I closed the door. One of the kids went, Is, is that Mr. Stevens? <laughs> and I went, Yes, he's not feeling very well. <laughs> I accepted it. That was it. <laughs>